。Hello， 同學，大家好啊！我哋將會用未來嗰五堂去講 topical vocabulary 同埋 useful phrases for the writing electives。今堂咧會先教 workplace 嘅 communication electives。So task one. Next week, your teacher is going to ask your class to read some short stories about workplaces of the future. In order to prepare you beforehand, she has set you the following task. Imagine that it is the year 2040, and that you have been working in the same office since you finished your studies. Write an article for a technology magazine describing how the technology in the office has changed since your very first day. And how you feel about these technological changes. So use your imagination to create a brave new world of science and technology. Here is one way you could have answered your teacher. So let's begin. How much office technology has changed? Even now, I still clearly remember my very first day at professional communications, where I've worked ever since I finished university. I remember walking into the reception area and meeting Miss Liu, the young and friendly office receptionist. I also remember being given a brief tour of the place that ended at my office cubicle, which was complete with four-dimensional computers, satellite telephone, and other cyber office items. Looking back, however, it's obvious how much the office has changed over the years. The first thing that's changed. Is that Miss Liu is no longer at the company? In fact, I was very sad when she was replaced by an electronic receptionist. Of course, these robots are very common now, especially because they're so efficient. Ours is connected to every machine in the office, so it automatically knows if new office supplies are needed. It also usually knows why visitors have come to the office before they've said a word. I, however, miss the fact that we no longer have a real person to greet visitors. Another big change is the much higher level of security that we have now. In the past, people could just walk straight to their office cubicles. However, the only way you can enter the office nowadays is by putting your entire hand inside a three-dimensional scanner. It'll then match its scan of your hand against its files before letting you into the office. In the type of world that we live in nowadays, I'm happy that the company has invested money into security. After all, the safety of its employees is very important. The last big change at the office is how traditional computers have become a thing of the past. In the past, we always needed to type everything up on them. For example, emails and company reports. However, we don't have to do that anymore. Because of the new mind computers that we wear like helmets on our heads, we run these machines with our thoughts, which has made day-to-day -day work a lot quicker and easier. Therefore, it's no surprise that I'm a big fan of them. To conclude, I really like how security and doing everyday work has improved a lot in my office since I first started working at professional communications. However, I do feel a bit sad that visitors to my office nowadays are greeted by a robot rather than by a real person. And the following are some useful vocabularies about age. Sexagenarian is a person between 60 to 69 years old. Septuagenarian is a person between 70 to 79 years old. Octogenarian, a person between 80 and 89 years old. Nonagenarian, a person between 90 and 99 years old. Centenarian, a person 100 years old or above. Example: The poor octogenarian treads down the street picking up recyclables to make a living. The origins: The prefixes sexa, septua, octo, nona, and cent all refer to numbers. The root gen means life. The suffix. Ian means a person. More phrases: from womb to tomb. This means the whole life. For example, some governments are so caring that they provide welfare services to their citizens from womb to tomb. Another vocabulary: come of age, meaning 
old enough to be eligible of doing something by law. For example, now that Bobby has come of age, he can apply a learner license to practice driving. Task 2. You recently completed your summer job at an office in the center of town. The summer job was interesting from start to finish. Write a diary entry about your summer job saying where you worked, giving the details of the job and describing your most memorable experiences there. The following is a sample answer to task 2. I'll read out the paragraph and you can follow along. Dear Diary, Yesterday was my last day of summer work at Modern Magazine, a company that is located in Central and publishes a monthly magazine for teenagers. I really enjoyed working there as a junior writer because I not only learned a lot about writing professionally, but also got to meet many interesting people. In fact, I had a number of memorable experiences at Modern Magazine over the last two months. One of them has to be the day that my boss, the chief editor of the magazine, told me to go and interview the student rock band Chaos. I've been a big fan of Chaos for a long time, but had never had the chance to meet them before, so naturally I was very excited. I went to see them play live in Victoria Park. Of course, they were brilliant. And then had a question and answer session with them afterwards. They were a great bunch of guys and had many interesting things to say, so my boss was very happy with the article that I wrote about them. Another experience at Modern Magazine that I'll never forget is the time when all the computers crashed just a few days before our deadline. Most of the junior employees, including myself, were frantic, but the more senior ones calmed us down. They then started typing up all the stories that they've been working on from memory, and believe it or not, we were nearly back on schedule by the end of the day. I was really impressed by what the company's senior staff did that day, and I learned a lot about the importance of staying calm no matter how bad the situation may seem. The third experience at Modern Magazine that will always stick in my mind happened just yesterday, when my boss shouted for me to see him in the conference room. I was really scared and upset because I assumed I had made a huge mistake on my last article. However, as soon as I opened the door, I was greeted with cheers from my boss and other people in my department. It was a surprise party for me. I became even happier when my boss later told me that I had done really well and that I could continue to work there part-time during the year. So, although yesterday was my last day of summer work at Modern Magazine, Saturday will be my first day of part-time work there. Some useful verbs. Behold. To observe, look, or see. Gaze. To look intently with pleasure, wonder, or curiosity. For example, Behold, cried the magician. The audience gazed at the stage as the magician carried out his best trick. Gawk. To stare stupidly. For example, I hate being gawked at. Glimpse, to look briefly. Witness, to see, hear, or know by personal presence. For example, you will witness history in the making. The crowd glimpsed the rabbit jumping out of the magician's hat and quickly disappeared behind the stage. Many gawked at the empty hat in awe. See through rose-colored glasses means to take an optimistic view of something. Example, to the daydreaming teenagers, they always see their future through rose-colored glasses. Everything looks perfect to them. Wait and see attitude, meaning a skeptical or uncertain attitude. For example, Sam, I am confused. Why does the machine keep breaking down with no reason? Tom, perhaps we should let it run for a while. Sam, hey, a wait-and-see attitude doesn't help. Let's find someone else to fix it. One last exercise for you. Task 3. Practice writing a short paragraph about my ideal office in 50 years' time. You may write as much as you can and ask your tutor to mark it for you. The following are some suggested vocabulary. Ideally speaking. 
reflective of a person's passion. Enjoy free access to. Have a reputation for prowess in. A particular hit with the elderly. Cheerful, laid-back people. Quite a craze. Try to use as many of the suggested vocabulary as you can. Write a short paragraph and show your tutor. And I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.